Okay, how to use elementary row operations to write a matrix and row echelon form. So what do all those words mean? First off, a matrix is just a set, an array of numbers. And here I have an example of a three by four matrix. Um, so there's three rows and four columns of numbers. And, and each number is called an element in an array. So element. So there's 12 elements, elements in this particular uh, matrix. R row echelon form is when you have a matrix. So let's say we're going to get this matrix in this form. So you'd have 1, 0, 0, and then some number, you know, whatever it is. And then a 1 here, then a 0, then a 1 here, and then your numbers. So you'd, you'd have like maybe 1, A, B, C, maybe D, E, F. We don't know what those are going to be. But this would be redo, uh, row echelon form. So we have a set of 1s in the diagonal starting on the upper left here and going towards the bottom right. And so that's that's what we want to do. Now we'll use that this later on to solve for different equations but for now we're just going to reduce this. So the first thing you can do um, and we're going to use what's called elementary operations, elementary row operations. Um, and there's essentially uh, two of them or three of them. You can flip any row up or down. You know, you could change trade places with these and you'd still have the same matrix. Um, you can multiply or divide by certain numbers going across and I'll just do that. So what I'm going to do is uh, I need to make, um, we've already got a 1 in this position which makes us kind of nice. So we need to eliminate this to make it a 0 and this one to make it a 0. So I'm going to do two operations. I'm going to take the top row times um, negative 2. So I'm going to take 2 times row 1 and I'm going to add that to row uh, I'm going to add that to row 2 to make a new row 2. And I hate to put that equals a 2 row 2, but that's basically what I'm going to do for this next one. So if I take, and I'm just going to kind of show my work off to the side here. So if I take negative 2 times row 1, I would have negative 2, positive 4, um, 8, and negative 2. And it would be negative 8 and negative 4. Shoot. All those would be negative because it's a negative 2. So negative 2, negative 4, negative 8, and negative 2. So that's... 2 times row 1. That's that part. And I'm going to add that to row 2, which is 2, 2, 7, 3. I'm going to add that up. And what you end up with when you add those, you'd have 0, negative 2, negative 1, and 1. And so that is my new row 2. So row 2 now equals this. Now for row 3, I'm going to go back to my original. And I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to take, I want, I want a 0 in this spot here. So I'm going to take uh, a negative 3 times row 1 and add that to row 3 and get a new row 3. So let me do that quick. So if you take negative 3 times row 1, you would have um, negative 3, negative 6, negative 12, negative 3. And then we're going to add that to row 3. So let me just write row 3 down. So 3, 6, 8, negative 1. You add that down, you'd have 0, 0, um, negative uh, 4, and negative 4. So that's my new row 3. So I have a new matrix of 1, 2, 4, 1, 1, 2, 
4, 1. My new row 2 is 0, negative 2, negative 1, and 1. 0, negative 2, negative 1, and 1. And my row 3 now is 0, 0, negative 4, negative 4. So that is my new matrices. Now, we need to have a, it's kind of nice, the zeros kind of ended up like we want them, but now we need a 1 here, and we need a 1 here. So, for my next set, I'm just going to divide my middle row, I'm going to take row 2, and divide it by a negative 2. And I'll just put my answer. And I'm going to leave this 1, 2, 4, 1 alone. That is already in the form we need. So if you divide row 2 by negative 2, we will end up with what we want. 0, 1, uh, positive 1 half, and negative 1 half. And so now that one is what we need for the second row. And then the third row here, we're going to take row 3 and divide it by negative 4. And so we'd have 0, 0, um, 1, and 1. And that now is in reduced or in row echelon form. Not reduced row, that's something different. That'll be another video. So let me do another example of that means I've got time on this 15 minute video or I'll put up another problem and you, you see if you can do it. Okay, so at this point, since I've shown you how to do this, try to do this on your own. Pause the video, see if you do it. Now, you might choose a different way of doing, doing it than me and you'll still end up with the right answer. So, I mean, take what I do with a grain of salt. Maybe you have the right answer. Just pay attention to the end, unless I make a mistake here, which is very possible. So, um, again, uh, first thing I'm going to do here, again, we need ones um, all the way across, uh, starting in the upper corner. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to take this top row, I'm going to for now leave it alone, and uh, I'm going to make this a zero and this a zero. So I'm going to take um, the, I'm going to take row one and add it to a negative row 2. And then I'm going to take a row 1 and since that's a 3, I'm going to take actually 3 times row 1 and add it to 2 times row 2, or row 3, excuse me. And that'll give me my two new rows for the second row and the third row. So just kind of showing my work. Um, row 1 plus row two, I guess I don't even need to show a whole lot of work for that one. Hopefully you can follow along what I do here. So my uh, row one, I'm just gonna leave alone for now. So one, negative two, one, negative one, three. My row two now, if I add row one and a negative row two, I'm just gonna kinda write that in here so maybe I can erase it later, that'd be it. Um, oh, and see, I already made it, would have already made a mistake. Because we can't do negative row 2, just add them together. Um, so uh, we're just going to add row 1 to row 2 so we get a 0 there. So let me go back and change that. See, there would have been my first error. So row 1 and row 2 now gives you 0 because negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 1 plus 2 is 3. Negative 1 plus 4 is 3 and uh, 3 plus 6 is 9. Okay, And so we've got that one. And then uh, hopefully I didn't mess up um, this next one. And I'll kind of sketch my work up over here so we have it. So if I take 3 times row 1, I'd have negative 6, 3, negative 3, and 9. And if I take 2 times row 3, I'd have 6, 2, negative 2, and 4. And then add them together, and that's going to be my new row 3. So that'd be 0, 5, negative 5, 
and 13. Okay. After that, we're ready to keep moving on. So here's my new matrix. And uh, notice I've got that 339 in the middle. So I am just going to divide for my next matrix. I am just going to divide um, row 2 by um, 3. So row 2, we're going to take and divide it by 3. And I'm going to rewrite the whole matrix again, just because show a little bit of my work. And so we'd have 0, 1, 1, 3. And then your third row, we'll keep it the same. 0, 5, negative 5, 13. And the reason I did that is now we have a 1 in row in the middle of row 2, which is what we want for reduced row form. So now I need to um, make a 0 here. And so we'll take row 2 times a negative 5 and add that to row 3 to end up with another row 3. So if you do that, and I'll kind of show my work here with a different color. So you'd have negative 5, negative 5, negative 15. And then you'd have for the row 3, we're going to add that to row 3, 5, negative 5, and 13. So let's add that up. Well, that's 0, negative 10, and negative 2. Okay. So now we can go ahead and rewrite that again. So we've got negative 2, 1, negative 1, 3. We've got 0, 1, 1, 3. And we've got 0, negative 10. Let's see. Oh, I'm missing something here. No, I'm not. Sorry, that I did. Sorry, there was a zero at the beginning. I didn't get that. So I did kind of mess up, but not really. That's a zero. Zero, negative 10, and negative 2. And so from there, um, we're almost done. So what we're going to need to do is change row 1. So row 1 needs to be divided by negative 2, and row to get a new row 1, to make that a 1. And uh, row uh, 3 needs to be divided by negative 10 to make that a 1. And so our new reduced row here would be, I'll get it so we can see it. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, pardon me. That would be, couldn't hit stop in time. That would be uh, R1 divided by 2 would be 1, negative 1 half, positive 1 half, and uh, negative 3 halves. Um, row 2 is already OK. And then row 3 is 0, 0, divide by negative 10 is 1, and 2 tenths, which reduces to 1 fifth. And so there's my reduced row, or redu my row echelon form, not reduced row. And hopefully. That's what you also came up with. So, hope this helps. See you next time.